Gwyneth Paltrow's ability to balance work, business, family, and healthy living has made her an inspiration to women around the world. Pop Sugar gave one lucky fan the opportunity of a lifetime. Oh my God, please tell me you're not kidding. To meet Gwyneth Paltrow and get an insider's look into how she manages all the aspects of her busy and accomplished life. We flew our winner, Sarah Jassop, and her husband to Los Angeles so she could meet the people who make up Gwyneth's world to prepare for her big interview. Holy cow, hi! No, no, okay, I'm good. Oh, you no. to cry. I need to make cry. <sighs> okay, I'm good. I'm good. Holy cow. Okay, well, I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> you make me cry. <laughs> you look stunning, by the way. Thank you. So do you. So nice to meet you. Um, it's, I'm speechless. Do you get this a lot? <laughs> You're anyway. so sweet. Thank you. I'm from San Antonio, Texas. I don't know if they told you that, but um, I have my own business there and looking forward to having children. So Hi. on that note, from having a career and children and um, what would be the best piece of advice, looking back on it, that you could give to, to have it all and do it all well? And Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> it's been, you know, it's, I sort of feel like the the real answer for me was that I couldn't do it all at the same time. So I really chose to stop doing movies for a while and kind of pull back. So with taking time off to do the movies, I mean, did you feel a need like, you know, gosh, I haven't done a movie in a while? Well, I remember when my son was about six or seven months old and they called me about Iron Man and I hadn't worked in three years and I'd been like having kids and breastfeeding and right. in sweatpants. <laughs> And I remember my agent at the time saying, you know, if you don't re-engage, like, you're going to be gone. And I was like, really? <laughs> I'm going to fall off the radar that easily. I know. I was like, oh, man. So that, that's how they kind of convinced me to do Iron Man. If you were deserted, like, on a deserted island, right. you had three Coldplay songs to listen to oh, on repeat, what would they be? That's a really good question. <laughs> One would have to be a new one that's coming on his next album. And probably Charlie Brown from his last yeah. one, and maybe one called Strawberry Swing. You and Chris are very talented, that's individually nice. very creative in your own right. right. Do you bounce ideas off of him? I know my husband and I are kind of like, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? Like, do y'all have those conversations, you know? Yeah, very much so. We definitely use each other as a sounding board because that's such an important part of the friendship part of a relationship. Yeah. And I think that's kind of the point in being married, like having that person you can go to and break it down with. Well, you've just turned 40. Yes and you're still active, you know, with movies and, and as a business. Did you think you were gonna be at this point in your life at 40? I don't know, it's weird. I've never like planned ahead or said, I wanna do, that. like I've never, I feel like I've never set a goal and, yeah. you know, I've just sort of let things organically Manifest. Yeah, like yeah. like I'll have a feeling about something and I'll just kind of follow it. And the only thing that I knew that I wanted to have at 40 was kids. Yeah. And I feel so lucky that I have them. That you have them. Yeah. So with that in store, do you think that, you know, maybe what the next 10 years has? I'm really enjoying doing my website and my ancillary businesses. I really love it. Your style is something that I just like hope to even oh. have an ounce of in my life. What are your you favorite? great style. Oh, well. Are those still on the cart in these shoes? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, great. It's, I, I would go to Starbucks in my sweatpants and these shoes, like, in a heartbeat. They're really good, aren't they? They are. They're, they, really uh, they're empowering. Yeah, they are. What are your favorite pair of shoes? I have so many <laughs> shoes. <laughs> what do you go to then to help, like, during the day? Well, when we're in London, then it's, you know, like a boot of some kind because it's freezing it's cold. cold. I always think it's really interesting to look at people's shoes and because it's it so determines your state of mind in yeah. a way as a woman, like what what's on your feet. What, well, I wanted to give you something, oh. and um, from my store, I kind of thought of God. What do you give the woman? Probably has it all. Um, so this is my kind of act of gratitude Mary. for being. Oh. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Just got touched up. <laughs> um, anyway, my kind of Thank active you. gratitude um, for being such an inspiration. Is this the name of your store? Yes. Are you an Aquarius? Yes. So is my mother. <laughs> Can I open it oh, now? Wonderful. Yes. Restore oh, credit or exchange. 
bring it back. No, I love that. That's amazing. <laughs> that is so beautiful. What is that, Lizzie? Fortunato. Lizzie Fortunato. That is really chic. That's Thanks. amazing. Thank you so much. Well, I hope this you makes me want to go to your store. <laughs> well, if you ever come down to San Antonio, I'll treat you to a good margarita. Okay. That sounds great. I just want to get one quick picture. Oh, of thank you. Yes. Thank so you. Nice to meet you. So nice Have to meet a safe you. Trip back. Thanks. Have a great I'll rest of the day. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys. Thank you so much. I love my bag. Good. Wow. She was amazing. I mean, I think the fact that I'm, I'm somewhat speechless just kind of like says a lot because I can talk a lot. <laughs> If anybody has an opportunity to meet somebody that they truly admire and are inspired by, God, I hope they get to meet them.